while there are parts of Minnesota history that have been lost over time. For this week's Community Spotlight, Jamil Donath introduces us to George Bonga, a native African American whose important role in the early development of the state is still very much unknown. While his name may be unfamiliar, George Bonga was an important part of the signing of the Indian treaties in Minnesota, the American fur trade, the first criminal trial in the state, and some documents say he guided schoolcraft to the headwaters of the Mississippi. His name's kind of attached with Leech Lake. His name's attached with the state of Minnesota. Leech Lake Tribal College professor Nicole Bolio only recently found out that she was related to George Bonga. It would be my great, great, great grandfather. I always kind of knew that part that I had black ancestry. In more than 15 years of research, historian Barry Babcock says this is the only photo of George Bonga. He's got like a bowler hat on and a bow tie, but he has moccasins on his feet. Babcock is finishing a biography on the native African American man, but he says everything he discovered about Bonga is mostly from historical texts and very little from oral history. He could be a white man and he could be an Indian, yet he was half black and half Indian. Bonga was born on the Fond du Lac Reservation in 1802, but eventually moved to the Leech Lake area. He was known to be incredibly strong, well-educated, and could speak many languages. Almost every major treaty signed between the Ojibwe and the whites, and also many with the Dakotas, were interpreted by one or, one or another of the Bongas. The Bonga family history has been ingrained in the Native American culture up here in the Northwoods. However, it's very hard to pinpoint how many descendants there actually are of the Bonga family, mainly because the name has been changed over the years, and many of the relatives have moved away from the area or were taken on different names. My mother was adopted, so technically I would be a Bongo. Bongo is one of the more common variations of the Bonga name on the Leech Lake Reservation, but Native Americans were often assigned European last names. Our Indian names were taken and they were given English names and if they were did keep their Indian names they were the translated version. If you're going to teach the story of George Bonga then you have to teach school kids the, the true story of what happened to the Indian up here. So George Bonga may eventually become a household name in Minnesota, but until then, the history of the Bonga family is still being written. For this week's Community Spotlight, Jamil Donath, Lakeland News. Very timely story there from Jamil Donath. It is, of course, Black History Month in February. Now, George Bonga also played a role in exposing corrupt white leaders who were stealing from Native Americans after the fur trade ended in the late 1800s. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.